Hold on. We're going to do the death fight. Hold on. No. Yes. Titan Slayer. And this guy. Yes. Titan Slayer. Orbital Strike in their spawn. Whoosh. Okay, so I think this is probably the biggest black market opening I've ever done on this baby account. Um, you know, I can't recall ever having uh, saved up over 5,000 keys on here. Um, we actually have over five days left, which means, uh, you know, technically, if I were to watch ads for the next uh, five days or so, I would have more keys. Now, for the ones asking me, you know, how did I accumulate uh, so many of these keys? What I do is, um, you know, I watch ads. So I get it through, like, uh, the supply line so you can see we have some here actually wait I didn't uh, collect this maybe it might even land on there who knows okay it landed on platinum which is a good thing because I do need some platinum uh, for the uh, titan upgrades um, but yeah I get it through there um, I don't think I have through here I know I have like ads and stuff which I watch and I get it through like the offers so that's where I get the keys from and uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. I save up the uh, black market keys and uh, voila. Okay, so 5,000. And I have not opened up any of these uh, chests. Now, I think what I might do is I'm thinking of opening up uh, maybe three or four of the uh, bigger chests. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's open up all of these. Okay, with the uh, bigger one. I just want to see, you know, what kind of prizes we have here. So a couple of Titan weapons. Actually, a lot of Titan weapons. Or maybe I should do the, the middle one. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking now because I kind of need like silver as well. So I might change my mind here. Hold on a second. Okay. So there are some modules here that I do want as well. Obviously the resources is really good too. You know what? I'm so tempted because the last one I did, I did only the middle one. So I think this one, I'm going to do this one here. So let's go ahead. And uh, let's open up the gold chest. And then I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how I manage my resources. And then we're going to jump into a game. Okay, so we want a Techno Atomizer. That is the first one. Let's go ahead. Let's open up uh, four more of these. Kind of really curious to see what it's going to give me. Oh, wow. Unknown Decay. That's a pretty good prize. You know what? I'm kind of thinking I might have actually even won one of these maybe I have two of them which means I could even put that on the Erebus who knows oh my gosh is that a repair amplifier are you kidding me I just want a repair amplifier no ways we have two more <laughs> I was not expecting to win that uh, module at all you know what I think I made the right choice here uh, we got a cruel bane that's a really good weapon or at least a good looking weapon maybe not a weapon i would use now but at least it looks good uh let's see what else we win here the last prize okay futuristic walker the best prize was definitely the repair amplifier for sure okay so let's go back and i think what i you know i'm probably going to end up doing you know for the next five days save up the keys and then i'm going to open up the middle one here but here are the prizes. You know, those are pretty good prizes. These two are really good. Totally worth it. And for free too, by the way. Okay, so let's go back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I typically... Actually, wait, let me just go back here. Because the last time I did an opening, I won quite a few pilots. Um, I think uh, if you guys didn't see that video, definitely check it out. But I won quite a few pilots. Now, being that I need silver... I'll show you what I, you know, typically do. Now, you can see I only have 2.2 uh, million. Not that much silver. I don't play on this account uh, that much, by the way. But what I can do is I'll go to the pilots. I'll go to change. So you can see all the pilots I have here. You know, a lot of these I just won. I think I have two Otto Schreier. Uh, but I'm going to pick, let's just pick one pilot. I'm going to go all the way to the end here. Okay, so we have two Medianariums. Obviously, you don't need two. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to the trash can. We're going to dismiss and get 640,000. Now, I was kind of briefly going through, you know, the pilots just to kind of see what I had. You know, we have two Roselands. I'm not going to do all of that now, but I just want to show you. You can see from my silver. Okay. Dismiss. 
So you see how I'm getting more silver? And I have about at least 15 or so uh, pilots, which I can get rid of. I don't really need all of them. That's roughly about, you know, give or take 10 million uh, silver. So that's kind of how I get my silver. And then I use my silver uh, to kind of, uh, you know, get components uh, in the workshop. So right now I'm building a Venom weapon. I always make sure to build up, uh, you know, items and stuff in the uh, workshop so I can get to the next level. Sometimes when you get to the next level, it also gives you gold and silver. So that's why I'm doing it uh, this way. And uh, you know, also if I need a weapon later on, at least I have it. And then I can always uh, build on that. But I'm actually kind of curious now because, you know, I want that decay. I'm, I've been leveling up actually redeemers right now, but I think I might have another one. I know I have a couple of hammers. We've got a cruel bane. Uh... Oh, we do. Okay, so we do have two unknown decays. Ooh, you know what? I'm kind of wondering, you know, what can I use it on? If I had a third one, I think putting it on the Erebus might be a good choice because then I have some range uh, to this hangar. But uh, what I might end up doing, I'm going to, you know, level up the Redeemer to level uh, 9. And then I'm going to work on maybe the uh, Decay because that way, you know, I have at least some range in this hangar. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Uh, also, what I've been, uh, you know, doing when I have the time, you know, if there's extermination mode, I know some players are complaining about, you know, not being able to do level three, four or whatever, because you need another hangar deck. Uh, you know, I don't see it as that, because if you take a look at the rewards, even the first two levels, I'm able to pick up like 200 platinum. Okay, so that's how I'm, I'm actually getting my platinum. And once I get my platinum, I've been leveling up my uh, modules so if you take a look at my modules i have a max start onslaught now i'm working on i think a titan anti-control so we're gonna work on this one and then probably the grand balance reactor now once i've uh, done maxing that out i might take a look at some of the weapons i have here because i do have a couple of weapons which i want i never leveled them up you know we have dazzler we have cataclysm um i think Maybe, I don't know if I'll do the uh, the Dazzler, but, you know, I'm looking at some of these uh, weapons here and I can definitely level them up if I want to. Another option, saving the Platinum and then, you know, going for something like the Minos uh, might be another option I want to explore. But there's definitely more Platinum in the game now that I'm able to get and it's helping out uh, this account quite a bit. So now that I've shown you, you know, what we have here, actually, let me go ahead. I'm going to show you my bots, just in case you guys think that I'm running everything maxed out. Nope. <laughs> uh, I did level up my uh, whiteout drone because someone mentioned that it's really good on the Fenrir uh, when you're doing extermination mode because it zaps them with the EMP. So uh, that's why I kind of leveled up uh, this drone. But yeah, nothing crazy. Uh, we are in Expert 1, so we're going to be playing against like Master... Uh, league players, uh, expert, and yeah, that's kind of how it works. And, uh, you know, having said that, we're going to jump into a game now using this account and uh, going up against players with, you know, MK2 and MK3. Okay, so we've just dropped in on Moon Map and I have started with the Kepri first. I'm uh, just taking a look to see where my teammates are going here. Uh, would be nice to actually link to someone before I move into center. Oh, we're dealing with a Mender. Oh my gosh, this guy just ran to his death. Ah, oh, wait, he's healing. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to heal enough, though. There we go. Whoa, that's a lot of players moving into center. You know what? Maybe I should drop in with my Erebus. Oh, you know what? They're all up top. Uh, yeah, I think we should just keep on pushing through. Let's try to get the Scorpion. You know, one thing I like about this Erebus is the damage output. It does, you know, it, ha it happens so fast too. And that's kind of key. Let's get the Scorpion. There we go. Maybe I can get that, uh, that Seraph. No, I'm going to fall back. Get this guy with the Orbital Strike. Whoosh! I think these guys are behind us, right? 
we're trying to get uh you know all their their home beacons here wait what is that guy in let's hit this one got him ah shoot you know what he has he has anti-control smart smart he probably gets hit a lot by um players using like the blackout ability Okay, looks like these guys have got our home beacon here, but I think I can hit this guy. You know what I think is going to happen? They're probably going to drop in over here on this side. I'm trying to break his shield. Uh-oh. If I can hit him with the uh, blackout ability. Uh-oh. Man, I can't break his shield. Uh-oh. Incoming! No! Oh my gosh, he got me too. Um, hmm. Okay, let me drop in over here with my Fenrir. Let's drop in with the Fenrir. Oh, we have, a ang <laughs> we have an angler with only one scatter weapon. That's funny. We need to try to get the, that other beacon there. If I can get past. This guy's pushing me um, around here. I'm trying to get through to the center. Oh my gosh. If I can move across to the center, then at least I can get the center beacon. This guy's blocking my view. Oh, fun fact, guys. Did you know that the Heimdall can kind of uh, walk under into this tunnel here? That Heimdall can fit underneath here. He should really move into the tunnel. Let's try to help out here. I'm trying to turn this beacon. I think they're going to drop in over here, right? I'm guessing. Okay, we turn, we turn the center beacon. Okay, wait. Maybe I should have stayed back. Yeah, I think I should have stayed back in the tunnel. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yikes! I'm trying to get that Kepri. Oh! Okay, so I probably do not want to spawn over here. Well, actually, wait. Hold on a second. Okay, I have my Ravana. Yeah, you know what? Let's try. Let's try with the Ravana. So the reason why I'm going to use the Ravana is because I have the Whiteout drone on here. And if they have a bot with like an ability, maybe it can disable them so we can at least get this beacon. Uh-oh. 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 Yikes! Incoming! I'm going to hit them all with the Orbital Strike. Oh my gosh, I'm taking on so much damage here. And I don't want to use... Oh, wait. I can use my ability because we have another teammate here with me. Let's try to maybe uh, kill that guy. I'm trying to hold this beacon down for as long as possible before I die. But I think I'm going to get killed. Maybe... Oh, wait. Can I drop in with my Arthur? Maybe? Is this going to work? I'm trying to get rid of that Indra. Hold on. We're going to do the death fart. Hold on. No! Yes! Titan Slayer! And this guy. Yes. Titan Slayer. Orbital Strike in their spawn. Whoosh. I should have hit this guy here so we could get our home beacon back. Good old Arthur. There we go. Nice. Trying to bust through the shells. Uh, his shield here. There we go. There we go. Nice. Just sitting on this beacon for now. Uh-oh. Man, this guy has a last stand too. Okay, last stand triggered on him. Focusing down that guy. Whew. That was a pretty intense game. You know, I thought at first the game was going to be a pretty short one. Uh, but it ended up being a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. And I think I actually got quite a bit of damage, uh, you know, in this game. So 2.4 million damage, 4 kills, 3 beacons. And this is how we stacked up. So damage wise, if we take a look at this guy here. This one's in Master League. And he is running MK3, MK2 bots. So, you know, damage wise, I actually was doing pretty good. I scored more in terms of damage than this guy using MK2 and MK3. What about this guy? So this guy is also using MK2 
and he has a maxed out mirror mitts as well so i think i did pretty well considering you know the hanger that i have but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and with that said thank you guys for watching and until the next video i'll catch you guys later